Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Nobe, back again with you. Um, this time I just want to update you on the ongoing uh, case uh, in which Triple C has taken its self-appointed interim secretary general Sengezo Chabangu to court over his marauding behavior you will know that chabangu has been busy recalling members of the opposition left right and center resulting in some vacancies whereby uh, president emerson Nangakwa declaring the 7th of november as the day on which the nomination court should sit it has already happened after triple c members failed in their bid to overturn their recalls in which they had gone to court to uh, challenge Chabangus Loka and I in recalling them because they say that he is not a member of the party. He is not also the interim secretary general of the party as he has claimed to be uh, when he spoke to the when he wrote to the speaker of parliament and when he wrote to the minister of local government recalling some councillors including harare mayor and deputy mayor so now they have taken him to court again to you will know that they already had taken him to the supreme court of appeal in appealing the earlier court ruling that they lost uh, now they've also taken him to the high court and the high court uh, through justice uh, chitabi suspended any further recalls of triple c members of parliament senators and councillors pending the determination of the matter that is before uh, the high court uh, it seems as if chabangu stays uh, as uh, a self-appointed secretary general of the mainstream opposition party might be coming to an end and this might have some negative effects on him especially if he loses uh, uh, e e the court case which seeks to determine whether or not he is the interim secretary general of triple c as he claims because you will remember that the triple c including uh, its appointed officials its recognized officials like promise mkwanazi president nelson chamisa uh, the spokesperson uh, the deputy spokesperson gift australis but have maintained that this man is not a member of the party they've maintained that he is not even the secretary general uh, of the party as he claims while he's been insisting you'll know also that he has been reported by the party for fraud as well as um he has been reported uh, by i mean to the police uh, for fraud so now this might turn out badly for him because he has shown under oath that he is interim secretary of the opposition party now that the recalls have been done and zanu pf is well on course to getting the two-thirds majority that it narrowly missed on the 23rd and 24th of august we might see chabang uh, falling on his own sword and even going to jail if the earlier court uh, the earlier report to the police which was made by triple c succeeds because they reported him for fraud and once zanu pf has gotten its advantage from the implosion of the opposition party they might turn against him and send him to jail but we are looking forward to what is going to happen we are looking forward to the court case which is going to determine chabangus uh localist and i as someone who's been recalling members of the opposition but also the determination of whether indeed he is the true interim secretary general of the opposition party as you might be aware triple c as a political party sued sebenzo chabangu it filed summons on the 20th of october uh, 2023 interdicting him from purporting to be representing triple c in any forum uh, that action is still pending in the meantime he then issued some letters to the speaker of parliament president of the senate and the minister of local government uh, recalling purportedly recalling some triple c members and that has necessitated us to file an agent chamber application interdicting everyone from effecting those recalls pending the determination of the main matter. So today we appeared before Justice Chitapi and Sevenzi Shabangu sought for a postponement so that he has time and opportunity to file his opposing papers. And in the interim, the High Court has suspended any further recalls pending the disposition and the hearing of that agent chamber application. This is what transpired in court today. No more federal calls pending the determination of the agent chamber application. So stay tuned. 
uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it